hello guys welcome back to another video so in this video we will learn how to bake our map in substance painter so for this i have my substance painter version 2023 and i have my game ready asset so this is one of my old project i have worked on so uh, before beginning with this let's understand what baking is so guys baking is the process in which uh, we can actually projecting or saving our high poly mass details on our low poly so what low poly means uh, low poly model generally used in the gaming pipeline in the gaming studios so save our render time so low poly model has has generally low tries low polygon count or so same as opposite are a high poly model contains more tries count or more poly counts let's jump into the 3ds mac to understand it more clearly so this is a low poly model it has some you can guys you guys can see it has some low poly count so same as this is our high poly mesh it has different or larger subdivision that is more mesh more polygon counts more tries count so in baking also we are projecting our details of a high poly in our onto our low poly model so let's begin with the baking process so for the baking i have an option called texture set settings texture setting setting is mesh maps so i have my mesh map option so this is our bake mesh map option so so we have this baking window option in substance paint 2023 separately so i have this material ids created by me for different uh, parts or different part on this asset so in the same option i have this right head signed options i high have the output size output size is basically how our map or the texture charts is created whether it's a 2k map it's a 4k map so the next option i have art is direction width to understand this more clearly we have this diagram so what dilation width is guys dilation width is basically the distance between the two uv sets like this if i have the two uv's like this so the distance between these uv's is called a dilation width is generally tweaked with the rendering time also so then after we have our option call we can select our high poly mesh so i have selected my high poly mesh like this so yes so next we have the max frontal distance what does it mean same as the max frontal distance is the distance between the bounding box of low poly model outwards like this okay then i have different option called maximum rear distance maximum rear distance is the inward distance between the between them or between the model so next i have an option called anti-aliasing anti-aliasing is a uh, basically the jaggedness or the crispiness of our edges called so i have option called mesh name so i have named our mesh as per the low poly model and the high poly model so in this i have plate underscore low plate underscore high same as we are following the suffix method here it's underscore low underscore high so next we have different map option what we have to pick so in this i haven't created any ids for this so we have a setting called normal map now small space normal ambient occlusion curvature position and so on so here are the settings so next setting we have some technical parameters also in the same map same maps so let's begin with the big process As can see we have our different maps baking on process so this is our normal map going to be baked then after this is our world's uh, world space normal we so we have some curvature map we have ambient occlusion so on see we 
we are done with our baking process so here's our final result so you can see we have different maps baked see so let's apply a quick material to check whether our material is looking good after baking or not so i have this metal iron rust so it's a 4k bake so it usually get more time for the baking and the rendering also how our materials are reacting to our baked uh, textures so we can can see all the maps we have baked so this is our base color this is our height map this is our metallic map this is our opacity or the normal map so yes it's the baking process so in the next videos we will how i actually did this process to get the out